carbon monoxide suffocates people by attaching to their red blood cells, preventing them from carrying oxygen. The gas is also attracted to certain metals, and researchers are harnessing that characteristic to diagnose disease. Carbon monoxide we tend to think of as a, a poisonous gas um, that we find perhaps in our homes as a result of a faulty boiler or coming out the back of cars. But actually our body produces small amounts of carbon monoxide as a messenger molecule. Uh, which turns on and off various processes in the body to react to abnormalities such as disease. The team at Imperial College London designed an organic molecule that fluoresces under ultraviolet light, but only when carbon monoxide is present. The technology has great potential for future applications in medical diagnostics. If we can detect carbon monoxide in these very small amounts, we can actually tell when something is starting to go wrong. Uh, and as a result, we can then administer therapy uh, to, to be able to treat that disease. Um, also, of course, if we do have carbon monoxide detection um, at our fingertips, we can then start to use it perhaps even in settings like the GP surgery where we could detect abnormal levels of carbon monoxide in biopsies, for example, from patients without having to go to the main hospital and to the labs that they have available there. There's evidence suggesting carbon monoxide may play a role in resolving inflammation and possibly alleviating cardiovascular disorders. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.